Morning Church, we trust you've had a refreshing, relaxing Christmas week this week and today, New Year's Eve, we are thanking God for 2021, for the good times, for memories made, for adventures explored. We also trust God for difficult times, for lessons learned and obstacles overcome. We believe that all things have worked together for good and by faith they will work together for our good, for those who love and are called according to God's purposes. And that's you today, 21, finished, and we're about to start 2022. And we're looking ahead with great faith, with great hope, um, for an incredible new year. And the scripture I want to declare over you Today for this year is from Zechariah and it's in chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, it's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, declares the Lord Almighty. It's not by might or power. Those words are combined in this scripture to speak about human physical strength and efficiency, wealth and force. But the scripture for us is not by our own physical strength, efficiency, wealth and force. It's not by might or power in 2022, but it's by the spirit, declares the Lord. When the Bible speaks about the spirit, it's speaking about the breath of God, the quickening of God. God does things supernaturally by his ability, by his strength, by his force, by his wealth that we could never do in our own strength. It's the same spirit that hovered over the waters before creation. It's the same spirit that God breathed into Adam to give humanity life. It's the same spirit that completely filled the early church 2,000 years ago in an upper room worship service. And it's the same spirit that has deposit in you, has made you it's home today. It's home. This term, as audacious church, in 2022, we're believing for a term of miracles. We're believing for the supernatural. That where our physical ability, where our efficiency, where our might stops, his spirit is going to continue. And this year, we will see the spirit of God move beyond even our own abilities and gifts that God has given to you and so I want to ask you this question thinking about 2022 where do you need the breath of God where do you need the quickening of God every January you'll know that we encourage you to spend some time thinking and planning and praying into five areas of life I want you to think about that today on New Year's Eve, thinking about on the precipice of a new year for your finance, for your faith ventures, for your friendships, for your family and for your fitness. Where do you need God to breathe? Where do you need God to quick, quicken? In all five of those areas, we're believing with you and praying for the miraculous and supernatural. And so where do you need the supernatural power of God, his spirit to, to move in your life, to remove obstacles and to pour into you and to initiate a wave of miraculous momentum? I'll leave you with this scripture this morning. Isaiah 50 and verse 4 says, The sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary he wakens me morning by morning. He wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. May the Spirit of God waken us. May His Spirit breathe as we read His Word, as we hear His voice, so that this year, 2022, we can walk in His ways. We're praying for you and believing for the miraculous to take place in 2022. We can't wait to see you in church this Sunday. Have a great night tonight, 
and believe God for his supernatural power in 2022. We love you. See you on Sunday.